We've been talking about it for a couple of years. We unveiled it at SEMA 2024. Behind me is our all new Roadster Shop spec chassis Fox Body Mustangs. This is something that we have worked for a long time on. We are super excited to bring it to the market because currently there is no full chassis platform for the Fox Bodies. This is a 100% bolt-on platform. And today we're gonna to walk you through the features, the design and engineering that went into this chassis and how it actually installs to the body. So first things first, why do we even design a Fox body chassis? We all know there's plenty of products out on the market. There's front bolt-on kits, there's rear bolt-on kits, but the market for the Fox bodies is pretty big. There's drag guys, there's street guys, there's probably a small restoration market, there's road race guys, and there's guys that are probably just OEM guys. So why build a chassis platform? Well, we're not trying to tailor to everyone, and the thought process behind this platform is tailoring mostly to the street performance guys. So maybe the guys that have a drag car, a notchback, but also have that street car, or they're a DIY guy in their garage that wanna build a badass street machine. This is what that platform's for. And really, designing and engineering this platform, we thought, how can we come up with one integrative solution that takes care of all the shortcomings of the original Fox body by packaging it into a 100% bolt-on platform? When we design a new chassis platform, the most important thing is nailing the stance. The stance has to be right, so do the wheel and tires. If you don't get that right and you build a car on our platform, it's just not gonna look good. So it's always the first thing we take a look at. We've been able to achieve what I feel like is the ideal ride stance. We have this thing sitting about seven inches, slightly lower in the front, and that's measured from ground to the pinch weld or the bottom of the side skirt. This allows us to package a max 25 inch OD front tire and rear 26 inch OD tire. The way we've designed this chassis and the ideal ride stance that we have, it's allowed us to drop the fender lip and the fender line about two inches. That kind of closes that gap that you would normally see in a stock Fox body that hasn't been lowered. This allows us to run a 255 tire, which is the max recommendation. This one, we're running a 255 4017, which is probably about the max recommended tire size. That still allows us to get full lock to lock without any issues. In the rear wheel well, you can see we've dropped that stance as well. So you're closing that gap that was about two inches above the tire. That being said, I think it's highly regarded that at 285 is the max tire you can run in a factory wheel well on the Fox bodies. On this particular chassis, we designed it. If you install a mini tub kit, or you do it yourself, you can run up to a 345 tire. On this particular setup right here, we're running a 335, 35, 17 with the fan blade wheel. All right, let's take a look at the engine bay and the front cradle and how this actually integrates into the body. So when you install the chassis, basically what you're doing is removing the factory front K member. And how we've designed this is your mounting points are actually right here. So this bolts into the same factory location that the K member bolted into. So you're unbolting that and bolting this in. Because of the way we designed this, this suspension is all about optimal camber gain. And in this position, the way we install it, we position the upper A-arm lower and back, which allows us to gain that negative camber. So when you're going through a corner or doing spirited driving, what that allows is your wheel and tire to actually draft inward to ensure that you have good contact patch and you're getting that optimal negative camber. A lot of this stuff is standard across the other spec chassis, like our standard ratio power rack and pinion, heavy duty DOM sway bar tubular fabricated upper and lower A-arms. But one of the nice features that we are now doing on our chassis is our RS Forge knuckles, forged out of 6,000 series aluminum. It's lightweight, they're stronger, and then you can bolt a modern Corvette hub to it. All right, looking at the engine packages in the engine bay, here we have set up for Coyote, small block Ford, and then Godzilla. All of these from the factory fit underneath the hood line, which is shown here. Supercharged applications could potentially change that. Most of the superchargers probably won't fit under the hood, but they'll get really close. If you're really interested in running a supercharger, just give us a call and we can tell you what will fit and what will not. But for all these engines and all the transmission combinations that you could think of, almost every single one fits under the trans tunnel with no clipping issues whatsoever. Some of the larger transmissions, like a 10 speed, there's three little points where it just goes into the metal, but easy enough to just clearance that no problem. Otherwise, you absolutely do not need to modify the trans tunnel in any way. Additionally, for the small block Ford guys, the small block Ford is sitting right in the factory location. So if you were to basically take all your engine components out from your Fox body and put them right back in, they would go right back in the same position. That's great for the small block four guys because 
Basically, if you're running headers, those headers should go back right in because you're utilizing the same position. In addition to the Godzilla, Coyote, and small block Ford, we also have mounting provisions for both the LS and LT platform, and all those engine and transmission combinations also fit underneath the trans tunnel as well. On the Fox body chassis, unfortunately, you don't get to use your factory exhaust, so you either have to design one yourself and fabricate one, but we intend to eventually offer the whole exhaust system. Right now we have the headers available. They're gonna be coming to market soon. And when we set up these chassis and we mock up every engine and transmission, the important thing is proofing headers, exhaust routing, and of course our steering connections. Here you can see we've proofed our steering connection from our rack and pinion up to the firewall and to the column. In this case, we're using two knuckles, a double D shaft that integrates through the driver's side header. All of the Coyote headers we sell will be this same fitment, so it's already proofed and easy for installation. And we've designed it to run three inch exhaust all the way from the collector to the rear of the car. We've added a number of provisions on the frame for OEM style exhaust hangers. So you can run three inch all the way back. We have a OEM style exhaust hanger provision on the front trans cross member. And as you move back, we have another one right in front of the rear muffler and one right in front of the rear housing. A cool feature we did was we notched the nine inch housing in the center so you can get three inch exhaust up and over the rear. You can get your full range of travel in the back without any clipping points and you have a good amount of room to bring it around the gas tank and put one more provision in the back for a rear exhaust hanger. Additionally, one of the great features by proofing the exhaust system, if you were to step back and view the car from the side, we were able to package it nice and tight underneath the floor without modifying the floor, but also, more importantly, not have the exhaust hang out below the bottom of the frame rail. So it's totally invisible from the side. On the rear of the chassis, we did an optimal suspension upgrade. We went with a four-link setup with a full-length pan hard bar, and we ditched the Ford 8.8 .8 for a strange heavy-duty nine inch. The track width that we're offering on this chassis is 61 inches from wheel mount face to wheel mount face. And then for the guys that want to mini tub their car, we offer a narrower 56 inch. So if you want to run a 335 or 345 tire and you're mini tubbing the car, the narrow option is going to be the correct option for you. With our chassis platform, the factory OEM style fuel tank unfortunately does not work. We are offering a large capacity 20 gallon stainless fuel tank that you can order with the chassis. We offer a wide variety of OEM style, aeromotive, and other aftermarket fuel pumps or fuel modules that you can get with the tank. You just need to tell us how much horsepower, what engine you're running, or if you have any special requests, we can typically make that happen. What's impressive about this chassis is how we've packaged the whole system, lowered the ride stance, and designed it so it is truly a 100% bolt-on installation. There's six main mounting points that are required to bolt the body to the frame, but there is no floor mods that are actually required to install it. Everything fits and packages very nicely underneath the floor. The front two mounting locations are where the front subframe rail actually bolts to the factory K-member. Once that's removed, you can utilize mounting location one and mounting location two to bolt to that front subframe rail. The third mounting location is on the side rail that mounts to a weld bung that we provide that is in the rear of the side front subframe rail. The fourth body mount location utilizes the factory torque boxes on the underside of the car. We provide a nut plate that you have to fish in through the rear portion of the torque box and then transfer the holes and drill into the torque box to actually install it. The fifth body mount location is over the rear end. That we provide a weld bung that needs to be welded to the rear subframe rail. Last is the sixth body mount location. That is another nut plate that is provided that bolts to the frame. You transfer the holes and drill into the rear unibody cross member and that creates your sixth and final body mount. Now there's no floor mods, meaning no floor cutting that needs to be done to do the installation, but there's a handful of brackets on the underside of the body that either need to be removed or slightly clearance to actually have no clipping points when you do the installation. Both the driver and passenger side rear upper four link mounts need to be removed. These mounts are only held on by a couple spot welds that can easily be drilled out. Additionally, there's two gussets in the rear of the vehicle on the underside of the trunk that need to be slightly clearance just for a 100% full exhaust clearing, but you don't actually have to cut into the trunk floor in order to do that. Additionally, both driver and passenger side transmission mount brackets need to be removed via their spa welds again. And finally, there's two rear parking brake cable pulley mounts that need to be removed. One of the big questions that we keep getting is, okay, you're putting a full frame, a full chassis under a unibody car, and it's gonna definitely weigh more, right? Well, that's not necessarily the case. What we did was we took all the OEM components off the Fox body, 
and we actually put them on a scale and weighed them. And then we took our chassis platform and all the components on this, and we put those on a scale and weighed them too. All the OEM components combined weighed about 650 pounds. Our chassis with our options and components weighed about this, just about 10 pounds less than that. So we can say confidently that it does weigh less. However, the way you option out your chassis may change that. You can run an aluminum drive shaft, you can run an aluminum center section, and that's gonna bring the weight down. However, if you run a steel center section or a steel drive shaft, you will be right at that comparable weight. So we feel confident that one, we're peeling back a little bit of the weight that you would have on original Fox body, but paired with the suspension design, the performance that we're giving you, and additionally, from what we're talking to most customers about is they're running a Coyote or a Godzilla. Most people are gonna be running a lot of high horsepower. So the comparable weight, I think, plays in our favor here. And for the guys that want street performance, this is the ultimate chassis platform. That wraps up the overview of our new Fox Body Spec chassis. If you have any questions or there's something that maybe wasn't covered in the video that you'd like to hear about, just give us a call and we'll answer anything you want to know. We are doing a full in-house Fox Body build, so stay tuned for that. Otherwise, please reach out to the sales team, info at roadstershop.com, or give us a call. Thanks for watching.